So Chick-fil-A, they're doing a thing here. You may have heard about it. They're doing this whole thing against gay marriage. Their president's come out against it. They've donated $2 million against gay marriage to make it not happen. And, all right, fine, they're a company. They can do that. They're private. Now, we as consumers can react to this development how we wish. I first sent them an email saying that I disapproved of this. Strongly worded email about how I would not be shopping there unless they changed their behaviors. I got a form mail back, you know, just a sent it to everybody kind of here's a generic response that totally doesn't do anything to change the situation address it or add nothing actually at all look it up yourself i got it in the email you know you can check it out it's on the internet see how little they actually said and basically what they actually said is we're going to continue doing exactly what we're doing so with that in mind i will not be going there again at least until they change their policies and you might be thinking, oh, well, who cares about you, right? You're not going there. Whatever. But see, me alone? No, they don't care. But if everyone who disagreed with this policy stopped going, and it's a lot of people who disagree with it, like in this case, then guess what? They're going to stop doing it. They're going to do whatever they can to fix it. Because here's the Captain Obvious thing of the day, right? Corporations can't survive without money. And money doesn't grow on trees, as we all know. It comes from us. We buy things. You want a chicken sandwich, you give them money. They make money. It's profit. Now, what happens to a corporation that stops making money? You can just think of it in your head, right? You know, they die because corporations are vampires. They don't get their blood. They die. The end. Or, before they die, they're going to fix it. They're going to stop doing whatever it is. That's the thing. Companies exist for one purpose, and a big ado has been made about that, that they only exist for one purpose, that they're sociopaths. This is all true. They exist to make money. The end. But that is a weakness of theirs as much as a strength, and we can capitalize on capitalism in that way. We can deny the money when they do things we don't like. This is what's called voting with your dollar. It's a basic consumer right that we all have just because we have money. Use it, people. We can do this. Chick-fil-A did this thing against gay marriage. You don't like it? Don't give them money until they fix it or die. And if enough people do this, they'll fix it or die because they don't get money. Like I said, they're vampires. They die. It's that simple. So we all can get together, do this. Massive boycotts have been orchestrated in the past, and they worked because it, they, people understood the truth, that if you cut off the money from a company, they die. They're like weeds. You pull them up, they have no nutrients. They're dead. So, we need to start pruning, I would say. We need to start weeding this garden we have of capitalism. Because to me, it looks like it's a really overcrowded with fucking weeds. You know? We have companies doing all sorts of crazy things, and I don't even need to list them, because we all know about this. Uh, Occupy Wall Street? I mean, all that sort of deal? You know, just search up corporate crime. Find out some things if you don't know, if you've been living under a rock and don't know how corporations have been acting recently. Look it up. The Chick-fil-A thing, you may not disagree with that, and you may be against gay marriage. I don't know, and I'm not going to presume to judge for you, but you can't agree with everything every corporation's doing. I know it. Something some corporation's doing out there is, I'm sure, probably going to rustle you up if you learned about it. Instead of just being annoyed, instead of just moving on with your life, do something about it. Stop going there. But do more than that. Tell other people why you're not going there and why they shouldn't too. Don't be an annoying bastard about it, obviously. But I'm making a video here. You can do other things. Talk to people. Tell them, you know. Make videos about it. Something. And try to get people to join your boycott idea. Petitions. They do wonders, you know. But... The point here is quite simply that we have powers that we're not using. The dollar is a vote. When you buy a product, you're saying, I approve of this product and wish to give money to the people who make it. By not doing this, you're saying the opposite. If you buy a competitor's product, or you let them know you're not buying theirs for a reason, and enough of this happens, it literally must matter to them. Because that's all they exist for. To make money, they stop making money. Again, like I say so many times here, because it's so important, they stop existing without it.
that money, they need it. You have it. There's a relationship here that should be symbiotic and isn't. We need to fix that. There's something to think about.